Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about some simple and cheap and effective ways to protect your curls overnight. I see so many people say that they they have to like rewash their hair every single day to get good style. And you shouldn't have to do this whole thing every single day. There are some really easy ways to protect your style while you sleep, and I'm gonna show you what those things are today. I will show you my favorite and my least favorite. <laughs> and let's start with my least favorite. My least favorite way is using a satin pillowcase. I know a lot of people really like this, and I don't like it because I like my hair to be kind of more contained. And that being said, I have done this before, and it does not pull out my, it has never caused frizz or pulled out my style, but it seemed like my hair just was all, I mean, it was just crazy. I need my hair to be contained. <laughs> but the great thing about a satin or silk uh, pillowcase is that it, instead of like with a cotton pillowcase where it kind of you, you lay your head and it moves and it pulls that curl out or causes a lot of static, um, which, you know, eventually causes frizz. Uh, that's why a satin or silk pillowcase can be a really good thing. Another thing that I don't tend to do, where did it go? Oh, it's on my wrist. I love these Invisibobbles. You don't have to get the Invisibobble brand. You can just get them. I think I got these at TJ Maxx or something, but I've seen them at all, you know, any place that sells stuff for hair. And they will do what's called a pineapple. And what that means is they flip their hair and they put all or as much of their hair on top of their head. As you see, I do not have enough hair to do that. If I do that, there's gonna be a bunch hanging down that are going to straighten out overnight and it's just not gonna be good. But if I had more hair, honestly, that's probably what I would do. But they call it a pineapple because, you know, it, you put all your hair up here and it just kind of goes out like this. <laughs> but just kind of side note, if you have curly hair and you're looking for something to use for a ponytail, these work amazingly well. I, I've been so pleased with these. If I use a regular just rubber band or just regular hair tie, it creates a line and that's not cute. So there's a satin pillowcase, there's a pineapple. A lot of people who use the satin pillowcase also use a pineapple. Again, another reason why I don't. Another way is to use a satin cap. And I actually like this a lot. It's still not my preferred, but I do like it a lot. You can get these um, at beauty supply stores. Um, a lot of times you'll find them in the ethnic hair section. Um, that's where I found them mostly. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them, I got this one on Wish. It took forever to get hair, but I have it and I use it. I like the kind with this wide band because I tend to have things kind of fall off. Either they come off my head at night or they just go like, <laughs> like they don't stay on. It's like a shower cap almost and it, um, or like there's like a scarf tie or something and it just kind of works its way down and then like squishes my face. I can't sleep like that. And so let me show you a little bit how this one works. I like this one with the wide band because it feels more like a headband. So I'm just gonna lean over here. Get all my hair in there or as much as I can. Let me know if you can see this. <laughs> Tuck all my hair in there and then kind of smush it up like this, okay? So that is good. The thing that I like about this is that my hair is contained, but it's not smushed. The thing that I don't like about this, I think it's actually a cuter look I think, than anything else, but I don't like that this wide band, it feels it's really comfortable, like I really like it. I could take my ears out of it if I wanted to and it'll still stay on my head. But it flattens out my roots right here and I don't like that. So let me show you what I tend to use, woo, to protect my hair overnight. This is called a buff. This is just one of the buffs that I have and it's this thin, stretchy material. It's like a big, 
it's like a headband but just really really long a long tube of fabric and I got this in a two pack at Walmart for three dollars and eighty eight cents and this is how I do it I get the tag here the tag here and the back on the bottom so the tag ends up on the nape of my neck and I do this and I try to not smush my hair too much and so it's around here like this and this one's so pretty it's my favorite one and I flip my head over and I gently pull it up over there like this okay there have been times when I haven't done this when I'm looking and um, my hair will <laughs> pop out of it like that and I just kind of leave this like right here and the, the reason why I like this is that it keeps my hair um, contained but not smushed <laughs> okay and this does it, it's this does provide some like compression on my roots which I don't like but it's not nearly um, as tight as this this is like a headband almost and also when I put it on I put it on with my head upside down so my hair kind of goes if you can see it kind of goes up like this so it doesn't smush my roots down too bad okay and in the morning I just pop it off there we go <laughs> I just pop it off and everything usually falls back into place. This is backwards, so it's kind of... There we go. Something like that. Um, last week, I was on that app called Marco Polo with one of my friends, and I took my buff off. And here's a picture of what it looked like when it came off. I died laughing. So funny. <laughs> Normally, when I take it out, it's kind of crazy for a second, and then it settles. This, it just stayed where it was. Uh, it was, it was crazy. My hair's still not settling. There we go. There we go. Now we're where we were before. Um, but I found that after you take off the buff, or really any, any of you know, the, the pineapple, this, the buff, when you take it off in the morning, don't immediately start styling. Take it off while you're making your coffee or making your breakfast or doing something else because I found that if I started messing with it right after uh, it came out of the buff or whatever, that it just, it, it just, it's like it wasn't ready. <laughs> I found that it works better if I let it settle for about 10 minutes before I start messing with it and start styling it for the day. There are some days, honestly, I take it out of here and I mean, I just like fluff it a little bit and it's fine. Um, I, a lot of days end up putting my hair in a clippy because I'm a mom and I don't like getting hair in my face and I am, so this is kind of my go-to style right here. Any given day, it kind of looks like this. Doing it really without a mirror. But yeah, I found that a lot of times I just have to kind of fluff it a little bit or, or whatever. Then again, there are some days when it's like day four, day five hair, when I have to say, okay, time's up, I need to wash this. Or I just dunk it in the sink and kind of start over. I don't wash it, but I just get it wet and add my product and kind of go about the whole routine. So I hope that was helpful for anyone who is struggling with keeping their hairstyle more than just one day, because the whole process sometimes, let's just be honest, can be a bit much. And my process is really quite minimal. I'm gonna put this video in my curly hair playlist. I would encourage you to watch as many videos as you want <laughs> in that playlist. And I just put up my most recent routine video not too long ago. So be sure to go and check that out. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified whenever I put a video up. And of course, leave me your preferred um, st uh, sleeping method, protective style. I don't know. <laughs> Leave that in the comment section below. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.